Hi, my name's Mike and I am a VV addict. And I found this out from this last drop with the Matt Gone deck, the weapons rack, and the failure of control art. And I knew that these were going to drop and they would be less expensive in the aftermarket, yet I still went for the drop. And leading up to the drop, I set my price prediction. And for the weapons rack, I knew that if I didn't get the ultra rare or a really low edition number, that I would be out the additional gems that I had purchased at 60 gems. I knew the rest of them would likely be below that mark. Maybe the rare would be around that 60 gem mark, but I still went for the drop, knowing that the majority of these weapons racks would be less than the list price in the aftermarket and I still went for it. Leading up to it, I saw those numbers ticking down and I thought I should close the app right now, not get in on it and just forget about it and just move forward. If I wanted to purchase, I can purchase them in the aftermarket, but that ticking time was going down and I saw it hit zero and I went for it. My timing was perfect and sure enough, I got in and I got a weapons rack. So I saw 60 gems, I had 60 gems in my wallet. I actually had 119 gems ready to go and I thought, do I use this on the weapons rack? And I just saw it ticking down, getting closer. Those 180 seconds were expiring and I knew at this point in time, I was a VV addict and I hit buy now and I used those 60 gems and sure enough, just to see that green truck light up my day, it comes and it tells me that I get a common with a really high edition number. So I think, okay, that's fine. I got my fix. I saw that green truck and I can move forward with my day. I closed out of that green truck and I saw I still had that buy now button. It had not even changed to the sold out. So I might as well go for a rebound. It crossed my mind for a second to close out, get rid of this. Don't even think about going for any more rebounds, but sure enough, the four minute mark came up and I went for the rebound. And sure enough, it comes up on my screen and I got another one, the first time ever getting the drop and getting the rebound. The fix that I got was exciting. I was exhilarated. And then I thought, you know what? These are definitely going to list less than they are to purchase them right now. Why don't I just wait? But I didn't wait and I saw the chance, the opportunity to still realize a low edition number or an ultra rare, maybe even a rare in that excitement of seeing that green truck light up my screen one last time was something that I wanted to experience. So sure enough, I loaded up five more gems to get myself over that amount that I needed and I purchased and I saw that green truck and I saw that I got another common with an even worse edition number. So I knew it was time to put the phone away. It's done. I bought two of these. There's no point in going for any more rebounds, but you know what? I'm a VV addict and I went in for more rebounds. I didn't get any more and that's a good thing because it turns out in the aftermarket, these listed for less than what they cost like I predicted. And it was at this point in time where I thought, you know what, it is not important to go for that failure of control Matt Gondek painting. I really like the looks of it, but it's not something that I'm going to spend 200 gems on. I don't even have the 200 gems to spend on, but I opened the VV app and I saw that clock ticking down, getting down to zero. And I thought, you know what? I might as well just try for it, just for the heck of it, just to see if I even get it. That time hit zero and I click and I feel like the timing was perfect because I got a painting. And I thought, is this worth 200 gems? Is this gonna list less than what that 200 gems is in the aftermarket? And if I really wanted it, I could just get it in the aftermarket. But the exhilaration of seeing that I got a drop led me to click get more gems. And it's at this time that I knew that I was definitely a VV addict. I got more gems. I got 200 gems to be able to get that. Even though I knew that it was gonna list less than those 200 gems, I just hoped that I got a good edition number. That's what I was going for on this, as well as just to see that green truck light up my screen one last time because I'd not gotten a drop in a couple of weeks now. I just needed that fix. And sure enough, 
I did not get a good edition number, but I got my painting. And sure enough, when the market opens, of course, it lists less than those 200 gems. But I got my fix. I got that green truck lighting up my screen three times in one day, and I'm good for a little while longer for Vivi. And that is why I am a Vivi addict. And I'm sure many others are in the same boat because the sentiment about these drops was that it was not going to list in the aftermarket immediately after in the short term more than what it cost to purchase them. Yet all of them sold out. There's none remaining. Actually, I saw one edition remaining of the Matt Gondek Failure of Control painting and it's still there to this day actually. And it's sold out for me. It's not even available for me, but there is that one edition remaining. Regardless, I'm sure lots of people were in the same boat as me and realize how much they hoped to see in that green delivery truck and hope to get a low edition amount or to get that ultra rare weapons rack whatever it is and to see so many listed well below the retail amount that list price in the aftermarket was really surprising to me especially the common listing as low as 30 gems of the weapons rack and the failure of control painting going as low as 100 gems that was quite shocking to me to see that i didn't think it would go that low but that probably provides a lot of insight as to the type of people that are on the platform and what vivi has brought to expect people to think that if you purchase something on their platform it should go up in the aftermarket and that's not always the case this is why it's so important and why i talk about setting a price prediction for you in the platform for every single drop so that you don't FOMO into pieces so that you don't make a regretful purchase decision and when we go through dips like we're experiencing now you're not going to sell out of your collectibles less than what you purchased them for because I'm sure everything across the board is going to go up sooner or later we just have some things to get through on the platform right now like the MTL as well as in the real world with everything that's going on right now it's not a good time for investments for collectibles but this is the world we're living in right now and if you just hold on I'm sure the grass is greener on the other side this is not financial advice this is just what I am thinking for my collectibles moving forward with the platform and you know what I think it's really interesting the mindset that this put me in and that I'm sure a lot of people, other people are experiencing as well with the platform that the thrill of going for drops and the thrill of getting them outweighs what you might think with a price prediction. And you just hope for those low edition numbers or you just hope for that ultra rare. And it's really interesting that that is the case in the amount of people I saw going for the drop and regardless of whether or not it was gonna be listed for more or less in that aftermarket in the short term, because I think in the long term, it will go above that list price. Especially if you saw the video of me talking about that weapons rack earlier on the weekend, definitely check that one out as I talk about the possible utility of that weapons rack in the future. But regardless, this actually just made me buy into Vivi even more. This, not necessarily addictiveness, I'm just kind of joking around by saying that an addiction isn't something to laugh at, but just to make a light video here, I thought I'd talk about that because it is a slight addiction that what is it serotonin that you feel when you get something when you get a drop that rush that you feel when you're bought into Vivi it's just an amazing feeling to be able to get a drop regardless of how you think that that is going to perform in the aftermarket so just my thoughts on this drop just my thoughts about Vivi as a whole because I think this feeling that we get and I'm sure many others get about these drops adds to what I think will be the long-term success of Vivi and of their platform and the NFTs that they offer on their platform. I'm sure this isn't the last that we will see of a collectible dropping for list price and then listing in the aftermarket for less than that list price. And I'm sure I'm not the only one when I say I'm probably still might be going for those, depending if I like them or not, or if I see some sort of possible utility of them in the future. This just makes me even more bullish about Vivi for the long term. And I'm sure other people disagree with me or might agree with me because some people get, might get frustrated that in the aftermarket, they're not making money on their collectibles. But this just goes to show the type of people that are on the platform right now and the type of people we should be aiming for to come onto the platform to replace those types of people. Again, set your price prediction, stick to it. And if you don't stick to it, don't complain about your price. 
being less listed in that aftermarket than what you purchased it for. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this video below, your thoughts about the drop and anything that I talked about in this video. Give this video a like, this really helps me go a long way with this YouTube channel. I appreciate all of you that like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more VV content. Thank you so much for watching.